Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, The Real Super Sam. Today is another episode of Forgotten Spider-Man Rogues and I hope you enjoy. Happy Hashtag Spider-Man Sunday! Dr. Jonas Harrow is a mad doctor and that's all he is. Just a normal mad smart man. That's probably why he's forgotten, but he does play an important role in some of the Forgotten Spider-Man villains' lives. His first minor appearance was in Amazing Spider-Man issue 114, the same issue as Hammerhead's, November 10th, 1972. In this issue, we see Hammerhead's origin, and that there, he was an old man. Dr. Jonas Hera, who found Hammerhead, a gunman beaten left for dead in an alleyway, with no name and a wounded brain. Dr. Harrow performed surgery on happy surgery experiments. Jonas Harrow brought Hammerhead back to his lab and experimented on him to hopefully revive his reputation. In three days, he saved Hammerhead's life by replacing his shattered skull with a steel alloy. That's all we got from Harrow right now. Next, he was in Amazing Spider-Man issue 126. Here, the mad surgeon has a part in this person's story. The kangaroo, a forgotten Spider-Man villain as well, has returned back to America, and Dr. Jonas Harrow has tracked him down, offering a proposal. Dr. Harrow brings King Roo back to his lab to experiment on him to make him more powerful. Afterwards, the King Roo is more powerful than ever before, able to give Spider-Man a tough time probably, but King Roo isn't too thankful and smacks Dr. Harrow away from him, refusing to work with him. King Roo, while fighting Spider-Man, gets a huge pain in his head and returns to Harrow where it's revealed that Harrow has put a pacemaker to make King Roo obey him. Long story short, Kangaroo dies at the end, and Jonas Harrow didn't get the isotopes he want Kangaroo to steal. Kangaroo is just like other weaklings he's tested on. Now, he's on a quest to gain power. Then, he appeared in Amazing Spider-Man issue 168. There's a new villain in town, Will-O-The-Wisp, and suddenly he gets a huge pain in his head. Of course, it's Dr. Jonas Harrow back at it again. The man Will-O-The-Wisp isn't an evil person at all. But Harrow is forcing him to do criminal acts. Hearing Spider-Man has interrupted his plans again, he decides that he must destroy Spider-Man before he continues his plans. While Willow the Wisp is fighting Spider-Man at the end, Willow sees Dr. Harrow in the crowd below and refusing to be a murderer, he lunges towards him, and so Dr. Harrow is forced to press the button and kill him. And seeing that someone was leaping down into the crowd below, Spider-Man swings off not knowing who it was down there. Seemingly, no one down there poses as a threat. Next, he appeared in Amazing Spider-Man issue 206 in his biggest appearance ever. Jonas Harrow has created a device to control humanity thanks to his testing on J. Jonah Jameson. Jonas reveals that he's been torturing Jameson with the device for some previous issues. When Peter Parker arrives at the Bugle, Harrow has been using the device and it turns turn everyone crazy, even Peter Parker. Spider-Man finds out the source of it and swings into Spider-Man gear and destroys it. He, Dr. Harrow on the machine alerts Spider-Man to where he is and what his evil plan is, and Spider-Man recognizes his voice. At this part of making the video, I've noticed a certain charm to Dr. Jonas Harrow. He's a mad scientist who's crazy, and it definitely provides a break from the classic villains like Dr. Octopus and Green Goblin. He's almost like a DC comic villain that's jumped into Spider-Man's world. In the very end, Dr. Jonas Harrow actually threatens Spider-Man with the pistol, and yeah, it goes as well as it should for him. Amazing Spider-Man issue 219 had Harrow team up with another Marvel villain. Dr. Jonas Harrow and the Great Gargoyle and a third mystery person are escaping prison. They find out someone, Peter Parker, took pictures of their escape and now are tracking it down. After Spider-Man shows up and beats up Great Gargoyle, Harrow is the one that destroys the camera that took the pictures. But the man who bought it developed the film already and Harrow and Gargoyle go back to jail. Spectacular Spider-Man issue 235 to 236 has the final return of Dr. Jonas Harrow as a mainstream villain. Willow the Wisp is back, and Harrow is back to making him commit crimes to survive. Jonas Harrow is with, with Willow the Wisp again to work on making a synthetic strike force. But Spider-Man, when Ben Riley was underneath the mask, has cured Willow the, the Wisp from Harrow's demand, but Harrow now has control of Dragon Man. Dragon Man looks to have defeated Spider-Man, so Harrow brings Dragon Man home. 
But when Dragon Man returns, Spider-Man and Willow of the West burst out and attack Jonas Harrow. At the end, Harrow's army creating plan is destroyed before his eyes. One important part is working with the Dark Avengers with Osborn to help Luke Cage is what happens next to him until the next time we see him is his death in New Avengers issue 60 in 2010. At the very end, the, uh, Norman Osborn has called a meeting with Dr. Jonas Harrow and a bunch of other D-list villains. The Hood actually comes in and shoots Harrow in the head, sniper style, and he dies, and he has never returned. To me, Dr. Jonas Harrow is a pointless character when it comes to the overall story of Spider-Man. He's not connected with his most famous rogues, but as a mad evil scientist who will do anything, even torturous murders to achieve his goals, it's a refreshing break from the classic 616 rogues like Vulture and Elektra every other year. I'd say Jonas Harrow provided that break and was someone entirely different. Harrow being the one who created Hammerhead, I'm surprised he's never referenced when Hammerhead's in any kind of media. I hope Dr. Jonas Harrow doesn't return, I just don't think he's needed anymore. Mad Doctors are fun, but I think the Fantastic Four Rogue, the Mad Thinker, is a better suit for the position of upgrading supervillains and their powers today, like in the Gauntlet with Electro. Anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Bye guys, and have a good day.